my dear students today i take you to a very special section in practical pathology namely staining all of us know that we have got the hne stain and a battery of special stains to choose from or we might be given one the secret of this is very 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 simple do you will have to perform the stains anyway i on my part shall try to take you through the pa stain in today's class any guess as to the method of approach for this particular topic almost the same i shall be taking you through these headings and let us see how much of it you people already know before we plunge into the topic proper we should accept there have been renowned and dedicated histochemists as well as pathologists who have spent several hours years or even decades in developing these things so it is not a question of simply by hearting and reproducing this is one such person lily as i was preparing for this class i came across a list from bancroft all of you know the text bancroft there are different ways of making a list of the importance of a special stain i was very much impressed by the list prepared by bancroft it is regarding the component that takes up the special stain so in that case it can be glycogen starch mucin which can be silo mucin or neutral mucin basement membrane alpha antitrypsin fungi granules colloid corpora amelicia and russell's bodies see these are not specific diagnoses but then components which take up the special stain this is a beautiful and a pure chemical way of approaching in fact this is the perfect method of course we might not be able to comprehend much of this because it is more chemical than pathological but this is more scientific kindly do have this in one corner of your mind this is mandatory the second book that i am projecting on the screen all of you people know this book but then it is not possible to by heart this unless we do the technique along with the author what are the stains for mucin and look at this mucus over here i am finding beautiful basket like goblet cells which have taken up a special color the mucin the stains can be always whenever you do a stain the examiners are likely to ask what are the other stains or modifications so we shall try to have at least a few in our mind alcyon blue a beautiful alternative or sometimes a supplement for the pa stain it can come in different ph ph of 1 2.5 or 3 alcyon blue can be used in combination with pas periodic acid chip music carmine a versatile stain as i shall be showing you in one of the pictures colloidal ion so these are a battery of stains which could be used for mucin that alone we shall be having in mind for the time being this is an extremely important and a very complex one very difficult in fact rather 
impossible for you people to memorize but we shall be memorizing these stars alone what are the types you find that there can be acid mucins there can be acid complex sulfated mucins and neutral mucins just remember these alone acid mucins acid complex sulfated and neutral mucins this is a better flow diagram more logical which i have i have to confess retrieved from the net mucin and if you are going to stain it with mucic carmine it will be somewhat rose to red if it is going to be a neutral mucin pas it takes up a magenta color acidic and alkaline blue gives it a blue color silomucin again alkaline blue gives a blue color and sulfomucin the alkaline blue gives a purple color this is one way of tackling it there is a second group called as intestinal metaplasia whenever there is a gastritis you find that the gastric epithelium is being replaced by an intestinal type of epithelium it can be small intestine or large intestine i shall not go into the chemistry of it there can be a complete metaplasia or an incomplete metaplasia in a case of complete metaplasia there is columnar cell but no mucin and then there can be the goblet cell which will be having a silomucin or a sulfomucin and in the incomplete there are two types type 2 and type 3 so there can be a columnar and then a goblet cell columnar and a goblet cell each of this will be having a silomucin and a sulfomucin so these things we shall be remembering there is an intestinal metaplasia which can be complete or incomplete they are again being divided into two types silomucin sulfomucin this much we shall be remembering i look at this one beautiful now what is the color i can't say it is pink i can't say it is blue so it is somewhat we used to call it as a magenta color so this is an excellent control for a pas stain an author who has contributed a lot i intentionally gave this reference so that if you people are interested or if some of you is doing a work in gastric or an in intestinal mucosa you people can go back to this look at this alkaline blue it is taking up more of a violetish color over here and a pure blue color over here almost a sea blue so this is one of the stains for mucin now we will go back to rpas the schiff's reagent reacts with the free aldehydes from 1 to glycols in the periodic acid treated carbohydrates so the first step is treating it with periodic acid it is not periodic acid it is per iodic acid after which it becomes colorless then you find that there is a restoration of the tri aryl methane tri aryl methane molecule which will produce the pink or the magenta or the so called red color and this is by means of a reagent called the schiff's reagent so two substances over here periodic acid and the schiff's reagent this is the structure of the periodic acid this particular flow diagram again retrieved from the net is of great importance there is a lot of complexity you people need not be going into it one we shall remember that there is a schiff's reagent over here it is colorless and when it comes in contact with the molecules of an aldehyde it becomes conjugated as a result of which it will be developing a magenta color so schiff's reagent aldehyde and then 
a conjugate of this these three things we people will have to remember this i given a star because i would like you people to kindly remember the n circle steps this is the basic principle of pa stain again i given it on the box kindly by heart it now what is the application of the pa stain this is another approach he has given it from the tissue point of view or sometimes from the lesion point of view it is not the basic chemical structure so here for example in the liver it can stain the glycogen the alpha antitrypsin can be stained in the muscle there can be staining of the glycogen this itself can be useful to diagnose a pompous disease or a fibrous disease wherein you will be finding glycogen deposition in the muscle pancreas in a case of acinar cell carcinoma small intestine the whipple's disease homi macrophages positive for pas parotid for the zymogen granules fungi all of us know the mucor mycosis and the aspergillus prostate the cooper's glands can be positive skin a wonderful reference camino can be found camino bodies in a case of a spitz nevus tumors all of us know the mucin secreting adenocarcinoma basement membrane in the case of cylindroma eccrine spiroadenoma etc testes you find that the intratubular germ cell neoplasm will be positive but not the germinal epithelium hematology all will be showing a block positivity and it can also be positive for aml m5 to m7 in the kidney three classical things basement membrane tubulitis and the reabsorption of the glycogen in the form of kemelsler wilson lesion in diabetes mellitus bone tumors having sarcoma i am reading this list purposely because it should enter your mind definitely they will be asking you what is the application of the pas thing and you people will have to rattle off at least 10 of these they should ask you to stop and the list continues the fungi apart from the mucor mycosis etc histoplasma capsulatum can be positive cryptococcus neoformans can also be positive gauche's disease for storage stomach the neutral mucin and in myeloma the russell's polyps i am stopping abruptly at 17 but probably you can trace the list a lot but you should be in a zone of comfort wherein you have your own list this is the colloid of the thyroid which is being stained positive by the pas and look at this music admin which is also a stain for pas for the glycogen it is showing a variable color there is a pink color and then there is a yellowish pink color it is supposed to be a versatile stain how do you prepare this these are the modes of preparation i will not be reading it but i would like you people to kindly go through it basic fusion more important it should be pronounced as fuxin and sodium metabisulfite and these are the steps that you people will have to undergo activated charcoal is used it acts more like a filter so initially you find that the stain will be having somewhat a pink color but as it is being filtered it emerges as a colorless reagent the filter paper is watman's filter paper number 1 and after being filtered it should be stored at 4 degrees in an amber colored bottle what is this amber colored we shall be seeing in a cool dry place in which case it can be preserved for several months and periodic acid is prepared by dissolving periodic acid powder 1 gram in about 100 ml so these are the two components which should be prepared and there is a secret of it every container that is being used for the preparation of the pas must be rinsed in distilled water before proceeding 
tap water will be a contaminant. So this is activated charcoal, which can be acting as a filter. And this is the Wattman's filter paper number one. And normally when there is a positivity, you find that a colorless substance is being converted into a magenta colored substance wherein an aldehyde is present. So this will be the basic principle I would like you people to appreciate. And this gentleman, I could not get a photograph of this, is McManus. He is a Canadian pathologist who has contributed a lot in this mucin histochemistry. I have been telling you people about the pompase disease. This is the myocardium. It is showing a lot of vacuolation. I am not sure about it. And then a PA stain is done. The entire thing is taking up a magenta color. Positive for it. A pompase disease. So this is again the principle that is being repeated. I will come to the book later. The reactivity of the free aldehyde groups with the carbohydrates creates a magenta color with the shifts reagent. Kindly by heart this word. This is like a tirukural for you people. A two line statement that will be giving you volumes of meaning. And this is culling. Yet another person. Bancroft we had seen, Lily we had seen, McManus we had seen, and culling is another person. So all these people have contributed a lot. Variants of Schiff's reagent. Definitely, this will be a question for you people. What are the variants of the Schiff's reagent? This is given in our Robbins or rather Bancroft, but the problem is we find it very difficult to buy heart. The basic fusion is basically made up of three aryl methane dyes. They are para rosanilin, rosanilin, and new fuchsin. Three. But any one or any two can be used, according to Lilly. This is the person whose book I first projected. Coming to the variation, it can be a Schiff's original method of staining, a McManus method of staining, Barger and Delamater, and Longley. These are all the persons who are given the variants of it along with Lilly. So these are all the variants which you people will have to buy heart and answer. Schiff's method, McManus method, Barger and Della method, Lilly, Longley and Leucofusin. These are all the variants, kindly by heart and then see. You need not go into the chemistry of it and God said, I hope the examiner will not be asking us further. So this is a Schiff's reagent and look at the color of the bottle in which it is being prepared and stored. Leuco means white or even colorless. That is why it is called so. Some of the applications of the PA sting. Here I am finding globules in the cytoplasm in a case of Kaposi's sarcoma, a web picture. I hope you people are able to appreciate the magenta colored globules in the cytoplasm. And sometimes you will be having a difficulty in diagnosing a small round cell tumor. Do a PAS. If it is granular and positive, it can turn out to be an EVs. Correlate with clinical and radiological pictures. Look at this couple of pictures. This is the intestinal villi, which is taking up the magenta stain. Normally, we will be using the appendix as a control for the PAS stain. In this case, I hope you people appreciate the fungal hyphae. Normally in any of our slides, we will not be able to see this many hyphae because this is a culture in which I am able to see the sporangium, the conidiophore and the hyphae. All the three are seen. This is over here. And the morphology of it, I am not going to go into. It is beyond my purview. The Gomeris methanamine silver is another stain that can be used as a supplement. The PAS will be staining the dead hyphae, whereas the Gomeris methanamine silver will be staining the live as well as the dead fungal hyphae. 
This is the basement membrane and the matrix of the eccrine spiroadenoma that can be stained positive with PAS. Eusophageal candidiasis. Many a case, we find that it is suspected you do a PAS and you find the pseudo hyphae in this case strongly positive for PAS. Patients who are in immunosuppressive therapy, steroid therapy, etc., will be found to be positive. This is the Whipple's disease, a malabsorption syndrome that we had been mentioning. Look at the macrophages when stained with the PAS, they take up this magenta color. A beautiful case of positivity. And coccidiodis imitus. And this is the sporangium with the spores, which is again positive. The sources are given over here Research Gate and University of Rochester. Beautiful pictures. I don't think we people should have any difficulty. And maybe in the background, I'm able to see a giant that is engulfing the entire sporangium with spores. The pitfalls with the PAS stain is it has to be in the hands of highly efficient technician and the pathologist who has got a patient to interpret. It might not be highly specific as the music carnet. Secondly, it should not be exposed to formalin. Actually, we will be finding the efficacy of the PAS stain by applying a little bit of formalin, in which case there will be a pink color produced. Therefore, it should not be kept in a histopathology laboratory that is otherwise surrounded by formalin vapor. Store it separately in a cool dark place in amber colored bottle or if you don't find one, it has to be wrapped up in brown paper. All the glassware in a case of shifts preparation will have to be rinsed in distilled water so as to maintain the neutral pH. Otherwise, it will be too very alkaline and producing false positivity. I hope all the colors will agree in the dark. Francis Bacon. I really cannot imagine from where this gentleman gets his quotes. And this is the last slide and an excellent quote. Look at the play of colors that you people see on the screen. From almost colorless it is emerging. There is a rainbow-like play of colors. I have many colors in me. Some colors are dark, some are bright, and some are light. That is just me, full of life. Thank you.